Here we go. Yesterday on the program, a Crossroads Relief and Development team working with our partners in northern Uganda came across an 11-year-old girl who had been caring for her siblings since age seven. The orphan family was living under a mango tree in a squalid hut with no roof. Alice and her brother are both HIV positive. It was such a difficult moment for me. I couldn't hold back my tears to see the, how the, the children were suffering without anyone to take care of them. The team quickly brought the need back to Canadians for help. The response? Overwhelming. Well, we're just so thankful. You know, the, the last thing you want to do is, is see a situation like this and not be able to react really quickly. And because of our supporters, uh, you know, realizing the big need, they were able to provide us with funds and the construction started right away and the, and the kids got into school quite quickly. We're just really thankful that people with hearts and people who love kids and want to make a difference have changed the lives here of, of these three children. My name is Alice. This is my own. Crossroads not only built the three orphans a house, but a latrine as well. And we are bad at it. She felt so happy and she really gave thanks for God for where he has taken them from. I think I, I was more excited than even the children. <laughs> I was so happy when I heard that uh, they would have a house built for them and they will have a good shelter, a place where they can lay their head. You know, it was such an exciting moment for me. You know, everything's changed for them. I mean, they're getting an education now. Uh, when they get through schooling, they'll be able to earn a living. And, um, you know, some not too long ago, th those things weren't even in their, their thoughts. They just thought their life was, was hopeless. So, uh, really great to come here and see what a great facility, what a great home that they have now. Although their living conditions improved, the orphans' problems were far from over. Some community members had become jealous and the children's well-being was threatened. Thankfully, Pastor Robson, one of our partners on the ground, became aware of the situation. Time and again, people would come to try to, to, to assault them physically in the house. But we thank God for the local chief of the area who happens to be a member of our church. So when I called her, she sent the police. The police came here and then they took charge of the area. Since that time, the people have now feared to interfere with the security of these children. With loving people looking out for them, the kids are now thriving. Alice in high school and her siblings boarding at a school in town built by Crossroads Relief and Development. Their future is looking bright. Although Alice and her brother Akemia still live with the AIDS virus, nutritional supplements sponsored by our partners have drastically improved their health. She used to, to feel so weak and I should feel a lot of body ache, body pain all the time, a lot of headache, a lot of chest pain. Sometimes she just feels that she's just too weak to do the work that she's supposed to do. But since she started taking the nutritional supplement, her health has improved and she feels healthier now. And it isn't just the children who are blessed. Pastor Robson says his faith has been reinvigorated as he's watched God care for these orphans through the generosity of those living so far away. It's just great. It's just great. If there is any prayer I should pray for the Canadians, I should pray that God should extend their territory, that they may be able to bless many more children of this nature. Because the need is enormous. This is just one among the few. I pray that God should really bless the Canadians. You have done what nobody could do for us. Even our own government could not do what we are do you have done for these children. Alice, Akimia, and Rochelle are profound examples of a loving God working on behalf of the forgotten and abandoned of this world. But there are still so many more waiting for our help. If you want to be part of the miracles he is doing through Crossroads Relief and Development in Northern Uganda, please go to our website at crossroads.ca.